for him. Okay, so he won't be joining us tonight, obviously, then. But... I don't think so. He, he's not been in touch for the last couple of days, which is unusual. We normally chat every day, you know. Okay, so is it? Do you think it's anything to do with Angina that he was talking about the other day? Yeah, I think so. I tried to ring him today and only got the answer phone. So I've had, left a, a message and said, you know, get back to me. So mm -hmm. waiting. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're recording now, so we'll we'll start with our prayer meeting. Um, I'm going to bring up Hosea. 14 because i think particularly on the back of last um times last time's prayer meeting um i felt there was um something to sort of revisit and um pray over again so let's have a look at hosea 14 um i'll probably go through the the whole of the chapter um because i think it's all pretty relevant um right so return israel to the lord your god your sins have been your downfall. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, forgive all our sins and receive us graciously that we may offer the fruit of our lips. Assyria cannot save us. We will not mount war horses. We will never again say our gods to what our, our, what our own hands have made. For in you the fatherless find compassion. I will heal their wayward, waywardness and love them freely, for my anger has turned away from them. I would be like the Jew to Israel. He will blossom <clears throat> like a lily, like a cedar of Lebanon. He will send down his roots. His, his young shoots will grow. His splendor will be like an olive tree, his fragrance like a cedar of Lebanon. People will dwell again in his shade and they will flourish like the grain. They will blossom like the vine. Israel's fame will be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more ha have I to do with, the, with idols? I will answer him and care for him. I am like a flour flourishing juniper. Your fruit fr fruitfulness comes from me. Who is wise? Let them realise these things. Who is discerning? Let them understand. The ways of the Lord are right. The righteous walk in them, but the rebellious stumble in them. I saw this. Um, I saw this last week in one of my sort of Bible studies um, that I read every day, and um, it just made me think again how we were praying last time round about how, particularly in the Western world, that um, society seems to be on the downfall. And um, from where we sit, we can very much put that as um, being turning their backs on God, particularly here in the United Kingdom. You know, we really seem to be falling away badly and there seems to be so much troubles. And again, it's, you know, to my eyes, it's just because we are um, falling away from God. So we saw that chapter there, uh, Hosea, how they was, how God was sort of saying to, to them to turn back to them. And that when they do, that he will sort of give them so much blessing, so much fruitfulness, um, shoots, shoots um, uh, growing fast into the ground. And Father, I just want to hold that up to you, Lord, for these countries, Lord, for our countries, um, United Kingdom, United States of America and all the Western world, Lord, where we just seem to be have lost our way completely. And we have turned our backs on you or so many people have turned their backs on you. And we are we are well, we are sorry, Lord, because we know the the, the greatness of having you in our lives, the greatness of uh, worshipping you. So, Father, we just pray for our countries, our countries that they can turn back to you, that they can know you and that we know, Lord, that um, the churches in the past have not done themselves any favours with some of the misdemeanours of the the priests and the leaders but this isn't the church as a whole and we just need to make people realise that as a whole the church is a place to be that we should be worshipping you and coming to you through your son Jesus Christ in the days when people by and large were doing that Lord uh, the fabric of this country these countries was so great so much um, so much better and we just hold this up to you, Lord, that we want to return to those days. 
Oh, well, we know sometimes we shouldn't look back, but we want to look forward with you in our futures, Lord, within our our lives, within our societies, that, in, <clears throat> that we, we march forward with you in our lives. And Father, if we do this, Lord, there will be so much fruit, so much blessing, like you had for Israel, like you had for Ephraim, that you were actually saying, Lord, that um, there is so much goodness to have if they were to turn back to you. And Father, that's what we pray for our, our nations, our society, that we turn back to you through your son, Jesus Christ. We love you, Lord, and we want the world and our society to love you too and to have you in their hearts. We know, Father, that you are your image is one of love and that we want to be able to portray your image of love. And if the world was to portray that image of love, there would be no more um, wars and conflicts because we would love each other too much for that. How much we how much we uh, we desire and we relish the thought of having the nations turn back to you. So, Father, we do hold this up to you. We do hold this up to you that we as as nations turn back to you through your son, Jesus Christ. So we offer this prayer up to you. In the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 If anybody wants to continue with that vein for the moment, please feel free to do so. Pastor David's just joining us from Pakistan. Good evening, Pastor David, if you can hear us. And so we've just been praying over um praying over the fact that we would dearly love to see the nations uh turn back to, to Christ. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you, Lord, that you are our God, you are our creator, Lord, and we are now fatherless, Lord. Uh, we thank you, Father, that um, this is your desire to save the soul of man. Yes. Lord, we in, inter, in, intercede for those that are right now um, discouraged because of the experience that they have, Lord, in the church, Um experience that they have in their own personal life, um, times that they needed to wait for you, Father, and they got discouraged and they just uh, went back to the world. Father, we ask that by the spirit of the living God, you drawn them back to you, Lord. All the prodigal songs, Lord. Uh, today, tonight, we call the prodigal song back to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, we, we come together and we thank you that you touch the heart of those that needs to come to you, uh, to acknowledge you, God, uh, that you are the, the creator, that you are the savior, God. Father, we thank you, Lord, that Jesus has paid the price. And on the cross, you say, Lord, it is finished. And so according to that understanding, we pray tonight that all that you were going to do, it is finished. And Lord, we decree and declare that your word will be a lamp to their feet of those that are um, backsliding, Lord Jesus. Let your word, Lord, uh, enlighten their understanding, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Those that knew you heard your word. And yes, they went back to the world. Lord, we pray for your mercy over. We pray for your mercy across this whole world, Lord. And in our nations, Lord, we stand. And Lord, end the God for our nation. And we decree and declare, God, that those that need to come to you, Lord, will come to you, Lord. Uh, we know, Father God, that you said, Lord, that many will um, love, go to hell. We, we understand that. Um, uh, but we are in, in the gap. We are praying for those that need to come to you, Lord. And then, Lord, I pray also for those that are standing in the gap, that we will not lose hope, uh, that we will not get tired, God. I pray, Lord, for strength right now 
to all of us that are praying and standing in the gap. Lord, that you enlighten our understanding on your word, Lord God. Your word is true. And your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our paths. Thank you for the strength tonight, Lord, for all of us. And as we pray, Lord, that we will see you for who you are, God. Hallelujah. The creator of heaven and earth, our father. Hallelujah. We thank you that you are our provider and you are providing everything that we need as we obey you, as we stand in the God. Father, thank you for provision. In Jesus name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Father. We do pray for the nations. And uh, we do pray, Lord, that many more people come to know you. And Father, where we have our part to play in making disciples around the world however we do it through whatever medium we do it may we may we do it uh, joyfully lord and you do it dil diligently lord mm. may we may we just uh, be true dedicated servants to you lord we all online here tonight are are dedicated to you and dedicated to doing your work and we thank you for that lord yes we just continue to ask to help us to pray in whichever way you lead us yeah. and guide us. I know, Lord, I was talking to somebody, as you know, um, over the weekend about how these things are not necessarily planned. We don't set out with our ideas about how to do things because we know, Lord, that if we have our plans, you just laugh at them because you have your ways that you want us to do things. So we need to follow your lead. So let us help us to follow your lead. Let us help us to um, follow the light that you shine on the path before us in order to to build your kingdom and to shine your glory. So, Father, yes. we just we just ask you, Lord, to help us and let us be um, faithful to you as we go yes. to serve you. And, Father, we do ask this of all the people that we come across, Lord, to help yes. us, encourage us, to, to, to encourage them to yeah. continue to do your work and there are many people out there in very very difficult parts of the world um, who are seeking yeah. to do your work and to shine your light yeah. and so father we thank you for them we thank you for the boldness of these many people who seek to do your work and i think even here tonight we've got pastor david in pakistan one of the again one of those very difficult areas of the world to be to be a christian and we thank you for his boldness and father i mean I'm, um he's asked me tonight and i do hold him up in prayer lord because um it does seem as though there are some opposition to his um his ministry um and we i can never understand why because it seems as though these these this opposition is coming from fellow Christians and we can't, can't understand that because at the end of the day, Lord, we should, we're all for one of a better phrase, Lord, singing from the same hymn sheet. We are, we are praising you through your son, Jesus Christ. So we should be doing this all together and not being in opposition. So where there is opposition for pastor David, Lord, we, we ask you Lord to, to release that. Um, we ask for Lord for uh, uh, a bondship, a fellowship, um, that they were able to work together in spreading the name of your Jesus Christ and not not be in opposition. So, yes. Father, we do hold Pastor David up to you, Lord, for this opposition that he's feeling at the moment, particularly as it's in a part of the world when they need to be together, they need to be united. Mm. So, Father, we just hold them up to you that they are able to um, to work together and and come together. In your might, in the mighty name of your Son Jesus Christ, and there were many other areas of the world where it is difficult to be a Christian. Again, next door in India, we know that that's a difficult place to be a Christian. Places like North, places like North Korea, it's impossible almost to be a Christian. Many places in the Middle East, it's in di difficult to be Christians. Some places in Africa, it is difficult to be a Christian. Lord, so Father, we just hold all these countries up to you, where there are our great um, workers in the harvest field seeking to do your work diligently uh, in amongst all the, the opposition and the um, persecution. 
we just hold them up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, I come to you and I pray for the United Kingdom. And Lord, it's so pleased to hear that there are so many groups of evangelism going on throughout the UK. Lord, this weekend, I believe, is a big outreach in London. And there are many, many other places where people are now doing street evangelism and different types of evangelism across the nations of the UK. And Lord, we pray for their safety, that you will bless them, that you will inspire them and give them the strength as they preach your word, uh, some with microphones on speakers, some on one-on-one, -on -one. as they gather out the tracks, Lord, we just pray for each and every one of those workers that you have raised up. And we pray that you will continue to raise up more and more people to add to their number. And we just bless your name because your word says that the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Yes, but Lord, yes. we want to continually ask for more and more workers yes. in your vineyard, Lord, that you will bring people to yourself. Lord, your word says that you draw them. The Father draws people to the Son. Yes. And that once they're in the hands of the Father and the Son, nobody can take them away. But Lord, we pray for all those Christians in our nations that are struggling, those that are in doubt, Lord, we pray that the Holy Spirit will inspire them and strengthen yes. them as they study your word and they come together in fellowship. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen, Jesus. Thank you, Is the political situation in the United States of America something we you want to be praying over, Marta? Um, actually, we are. I believe we are seeing answers. The, the what's going on right now in America, um, you know, with the presidency, what happened with Trump. Um, I believe those are answer prayers. So. What I feel in my heart is just keep on doing what you're doing. This is what God is saying. And you don't stop praying. You don't stop interceding. Because we're doing our part. God going to do his part. Right? And so sometimes when God moves in our life, it doesn't look like um, maybe we are expecting. But nevertheless, he's doing something. And especially when he's doing something new. You know, there's something new you don't know. We don't know. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel feel he's leading me into just be very bold and stay in my place of prayer and intercession. Um, and again, remind me that he's doing something and uh, he's going to do it his way. So it's a time for, for God to do things his ways to humble us as a man. Um, I'm saying man, uh, of course, woman, all of us, uh, because uh, America needed, America needs to humble and God's going to do it his way. Uh, where he's not asking anybody how to do it. The Bible said, who can cancel God? Nobody. So that's what I feel uh, in my position of prayer and just continue praying for uh, things to unfold. The Bible said that the ghost will be ashamed, the deceiver will going to be exposed, and the wicked will going to perish. And so we understand there are wicked people who are never going to give their heart to, to God um, that they hate God, and the Lord told us that's what's going to happen. He also said that um, everything that has been done in the dark is going to be exposed in the light. Um, he also said that the, the ghosts, those that are in the midst of us, like I heard uh, the brother is talking about, you know, you saying, you know, how is it that the people of Christian come against you? Well, maybe they're not, uh, uh, you know, true believers to follow Jesus. Maybe they are just religious, just like the Pharisee. When uh, Jesus was on earth, they came against him and they killed him. But that was the plan of God. It didn't look like, wow, is it 
really many was mocking him and saying, if you think that you are all that well, don't you come down from the, the cross. And of course, God said, this is part of the plan. So sometimes things in our life and in the world right now might look bad. But God is telling me, you, you just keep on praying and keep believing that I'm doing a work and it's going to be all for good. So right now, that's really what I feel very strongly. That God is doing a plan for America, and this is going to turn around for good. It doesn't matter what it looks like or sounds like it. And so I'm in place of victory. We actually all, always should be in the place of victory. Um, so, yeah, that's my word for uh, about what's going on in America. Do you have something to say, James? Yeah, I would just say it. we all know that God's the only one who knows the future and that man's going to be humble. So when you look at America within a week, we had a nobody expected someone to try to kill President Trump. And of course, most people here see that as God's hand because there are a lot of people praying for him and just some moving. I mean, just, you know, less than a quarter of an inch, he would be gone. And then within that same week, now Biden decides not to run. And so nobody would have predicted that or understand it. So we know only God knows the future. And I think he's shaking things up, like uh, Martha said. And he's going to let people know that he's the only one who's in control in the end. And right. You have a choice to make to either come to him or not. And people are going to have to make that choice. So, That's right. Yeah. So I think we are, we do feel a little bit of America. There was a little bit of encouragement. There seems to be in the Christians and the Christian community that people are seeing, as Martha said, God's hand moving. Uh, so that's, that's uh -huh. a good sign. Okay. There's um, a couple of things from that. I just want to, um, to pray over. So first of all, father, I, I thank you that um, there does seem to be um, new things uh coming up in this particular presidential process um which are not um the, the country has not experienced before but it's great grateful also lord that people can just sort of see and recognize that this is your hand moving upon this nation um that you are um starting something new starting something afresh and it's a demonstration lord that you are in control that you are the one that can actually uh make these things happen and that ultimately, Lord, um, there will be a new government, a new uh, president come the end of the year, um, and it will all be um, according to your will and according yes. to your control, Lord. Yes. So, but we thank you, Lord, that there are many people who recognise this, and we recognise that um, you are the one that controls and, and feel comfortable, Lord, in leaving this leaving this to you lord and we thank you for that lord and it's yeah. actually a good good example for us on the outside um for us to be able to see this lord and recognize that um uh that you are in control and we we need to sit comfortable and let you lead the way we did pray earlier lord about leading the way and not necessarily having our own ideas about how how things yeah. are done um as i say we said before if we want to make god laugh we tell him our plans um and you know we just need to be guided by you um for those in america lord who are are, are doing that and being guided by you and seeing how this all un unfolds i mean this is great lord and we just thank you lord for their confidence in you uh yes. father i just, just also want to bring up the fact that um as martha said there's um sometimes it seems to be conflict and there seems to be troubles and trials and tribulations and um going back to pastor david's situation with um these people who are in opposition to to him um it might well for me firstly these people we we don't know it's your judgment lord as to to whether these are are really um, followers of you through your son jesus christ yes. um, or whether they're just um imitators um but again, we do know and we just have to place our, our trust in you that through all these trials and tribulations um, yes. that you are in control. And so, Lord, we do just uh, hold ourselves and even my own personal situations, John's personal situations, um, where we, we feel the struggles that really there's there's a reason behind it. We know there's a reason behind it because you are in, all, all in control and you will have a purpose for it, um, for our betterment, for for greater things for us as well, Lord. So we just um, 
again, place our trust in you, place our faith in you as we seek to do your work, that even in these trials and tribulations that we face, um, that you are in it, Lord, and that you have reasons for it, and it will be for our good. So we thank you for that, Lord. Help us to keep our faith strong. And we yes. thank you, Lord, that, uh, again, going back to America, that the faith, faith yes. of the people is strong in you as well. Yes. So we hold this all up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Well, I have one or two people that I want to um to pray over for for healing in a second when I can get them up on the phone. Um, John, if you did, you want to pray for Philip? Um, is if if John's can open his mic? Yeah, I. There's a firework display going on here. That's, you know, other noises. That's why I always... Can you hear fireworks? <laughs> not, not great. I thought I had a little bit, but not greatly. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't okay. think it's, it's going to gonna, um, distract from no. what you're okay. it, It's not 5th of November, but they, it happens a lot here. They always seem to let off fireworks, you know? Uh -huh. um, yeah, we, we've got our friend Philip. Um, uh, I think, John, if you'd like to pray for him... Yeah. Yeah, oh well. Heavenly Father, we come to you in Jesus' precious name. Lord, we're missing Philip tonight. Uh, he usually joins us, um, but we know that he's not well. Uh, his wife, Barbara, is not well too. Lord, we bring them both to you. And we know that you are the healer. You are the doctor above all doctors. Lord, well, you walked amongst us. You even raised the dead. Sickness was nothing to you. When you decided someone should be alive when they were dead, you brought them back to life. When someone was sick, whether it was leprosy, whether it was demonic, whether they were crippled or blind, it didn't matter, Lord God. You healed yeah. them with a word, with a touch. Even the Roman soldier's servant, for many miles, you just gave the word, and he was healed. And, Lord, that's what we're praying for now, that your yes. word will go to him. Your Holy Spirit will touch both of them and bring them healing. Yes. Lord, bring them out of this conditions that they have. You know exactly every cell of their body and how it's not working correctly. But Lord, you can make it work as it should do, as you created it, as you created Adam and Eve with perfect bodies that were uncorrupted and unsick. Yeah. And we pray, pray that for Philip and for Barbara that you touch them mightily and that you will bless them and make them well. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yes, thank you, Jesus. There he is. A um, couple of people on my list that I I want to want to pray for. Um, firstly, uh, in Kenya, Dalmak Onyambu. I think I'll pronounce his name right. But Father, you know who he is. Um, he just contacted me the other day to say that uh, he needed prayer because he's he's coughing a lot. Uh, I'm not sure, Father, how long this coughing has been going on for, but you you know that uh, you know you know that yourself. Uh, you know the cause of his coughing, and so we just hold him up to you, Father, um, that you can heal him. You can place your healing hands upon him. Let him know that uh, it is you that is making him well through your Son Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah that he is well. So we just ask you to place um, your hands on him, uh, your hands on his chest so that those lungs can be free. Those lungs can breathe fresh air and not be irritated in any shape or form. And whatever is causing that coughing that is now gone, it is now dispersed because you have healed him, Father. In, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, may he be healed. And Father, I just want to bring to you uh, Robert Berry in Chicago. Dearly love him to be able to join us online, but uh, um, he's not picked up on that invitation. But I do know, Lord, that uh, he suffers from um, in many ways. I mean, particularly, as we know, Lord, that he's had that um, brain operation many years ago, but uh, still feeling the effects of that. 
and particularly with headaches as well at the moment, which seems to be his main cause for concern. So, Father, we just ask you to place your healing hands upon him. Um, may you take away all the, the symptoms and the scarring from that previous operation, um, that he is actually well and he is able able to do things, Lord. Uh, we We have contact with each other many times in the day sometimes, Lord, um, just praising you and thanking you, Lord, for your goodness. Um, let him be able to, to um, feel and glorify you, Lord, by the healing, complete and utter healing. I mean, we do have days when he is feeling better, and that is great, Lord, and he praises you for that. Um, may he praise you, Lord, for complete healing as well, Lord, that he is he is made well and that he knows it is you that has healed him, and that he can use this as a wonderful testimony to glorify you, Lord, that he is healed. So we do ask, Lord, for healing for, Rob, um, for Robert Berry, um, that he can be completely healed. So we hold him up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I mean, at this stage, if anybody, anybody's got other people they would like to pray for, for healing or for any or any circumstance, to be quite honest, you know that uh, we prayed earlier about our trials and tribulations, that uh, and sometimes these are placed upon us because they are for a reason. But I'm sure we probably know a few people who have got um, difficulties at the moment. So if we want to pray for any of those, please feel free to do so. Yeah, I'm bringing um, egg now. She have cancer, and so, um, but she believing uh, the Lord heal her. Uh, she is in my prayer group, and so Father, we just thank you for Edna. We uh, stand in the gap for her. We decree and declare your word is true. I decree and declare over her body, God. Um, Isaiah fifty three five. But by the strike of Jesus, she is healed and delivered, Lord. We decree and declare the life and more abundant life she have, Lord, because of you, because of your blood. Uh, we thank you, God, that she's believing and she's in faith that she's going to be free from this cancer. And we decree as well, she shall be free from this cancer. Thank you, Lord, that you're doing a work in her as she is trusting you. Develop faith, Lord. We thank you for great faith to be developed in her. And we thank you, Lord, that when she receives her miracles, her healing, she be used by you, God. Thank you, God, to give her testimony. How great are you, God? Lord, You. this is not the first time that you will heal somebody with cancer and probably won't be the last but we thank you, Lord, that she will understand that. She will take it. She will use it for your glory. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for your light to shine upon her, for strengthening her, encourage her, Lord, to see the end result, God. Not where she is, but where you will take her from this moment on. And for that, we give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I want to pray for Jack. Um, just to let you know, Jack is a 14-year-old uh, young man. Uh, he's a very active or was a very active member of Calvary Baptist Church here in Peterborough. Um, he's now in Cambridge um, Hospital. Uh, he's got leukemia. They're doing chemotherapy and other things on him. Um, so we just want to pray for Jack. Heavenly Father, come to you about Jack. Um, Lord, the whole church is praying and other people are praying too, but there can never be too much prayer. We bring him to you, Lord, because he's a good Christian young man. He's only 14, and you know his situation in hospital with leukemia. Lord, we pray that you will heal him either by your Holy Spirit or through the doctors that are working on him. Lord, but we don't want to see this man live to have a long life. We don't want to see this man, uh, this young boy, leave us to go with you. Lord, his parents and many others are obviously concerned about him. And we just pray that you will comfort them and strengthen them at this time. And also the other members of the church, the youth group and others that know him well. 
Lord, we just ask you to bless each and every one of them and help them through this situation. In Jesus' precious name, amen. 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 I just want to um, bring um, a couple of examples of um, answered prayer that we should be grateful for. Yes. Um, Father, um, we've prayed before for our friend in Kenya, Isaac, um, who um, uh, he's had uh, bone marrow cancer. And just to, as a reminder that he was... Um, uh, he's had one leg amputated. He's just a young man um, with brothers and sisters to look after as well. Um, really has struggled financially um, and has needed treatment. He's needed chemotherapy, but has not had the finances to be able to um, to have that chemotherapy. Um, and he he put it to me that um, he's not going to worry about the, the, the treatment now. He's just going to... Um, be faithful to God and hold hold his faith in God that he um, he will be healed. And Father, it's great to hear that um, as I speak to him quite regularly that he he is not in pain at the moment. He seems to be okay, um, still struggling financially, but he's not in pain. And that um, uh, despite not having the treatment, he seems to be able to to live his life as best as possible. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for him. And I'm sure, Lord, at the end of the day, this is an answer to prayer that will glorify you, that it will um, testify your great goodness and greatness, Lord, and how you can work through through people like Isaac. So we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you. And Lord, we also thank you for our friend here in England, Malcolm, um, who again has had prostate cancer. And again, has had the the uh, treatment. Um, he prayed that he would not have any side effects from the treatment, and he hasn't. And again, that is wonderful, uh, wonderful, wonderful news and answer to prayer that you have walked by his side through that treatment, and you have brought him through the other side. And he yeah. can glorify gl glorify you and testify about you, Lord, that that particular prayer about not having any side effects was well and truly answered. So we thank you, Lord, for, for Malcolm. We thank you, Lord, for um, for that uh, glorious answer to prayer. So we hold that up to you in the mighty name of your, your son, Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. And John, I know you, 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 you told us in the prayer meeting on Saturday, but did you want to um, just um, glorify God, God for Kyoko's, Kyoko's situation? Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, just to let those know who don't know, um, not Friday, but previous Friday, a uh, young lady got a phone call from the hospital saying that her older sister, Faith, had had a C-section and then died right after it. The baby was premature and was put on oxygen. And obviously she was told to pick the baby up and take care of it when it was ready. Um so what she needed, obviously, was quite a bit of money um, for all the needs of the baby and also the ho ho hospital bill. Um, so many of us prayed. And something quite amazing happened. Um, the woman she lives with, a woman allows her and her six-year-old daughter to have one room in her house rent-free, um, spoke to her boss, uh, who agreed to pay all the hospital bill and also to have the sister buried in the local grave. grave. There's a grave, um, you know, city grave for people. So uh, she'd be buried there. Um, she went to she she went to visit the boy earlier, but also afterwards she um, she was able to pick him up. Um, I managed to get some money towards this. Um, which wasn't needed for the hospital bill, but she needed a lot of other things. She needed a mosquito net. She needed gas to boil water to keep the bottles clean. She needed bottles. She needed powder milk, diapers, clothes, uh, bits and pieces. So, so that money went towards that. Um, the only thing she's got now is the boy has got a mucus on his nose. He's a bit blocked up. So we need to pray for that. 
Um, and I'm sure there'll be more money coming through to be able to help her with a few other things. My prayer is that she will shortly be able to start a small business that will be able to support her and the two children. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this very, very difficult situation, but we give you thanks and glory that the baby did live and that the baby's now home with her auntie, who's now going to be her mother. Lord, we thank you for those that provided the money that was needed. And Lord, we continue to pray that there will be more money come in so that she can set up a business and get the nose cleared. But Lord, we pray that you can also do that, that you could clear away this uh, blocker she's got in his nose, uh, this mucus and stuff, Lord, that that will be sorted out very, very quickly. We continue to pray that you will provide the money and the ideas that she can have a small business that will keep her and our two children now um, moving forward. We ask all this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. This, um, to, just to sort of reiterate, was in uh, Nairobi in Kenya. So um, just to give a, a better insight as to whereabouts uh, in Africa this actually was. But Father, we do we do thank you for answered prayer, Lord. And this indeed is an answered prayer. But as John says, you know, there is a continuing need. So we just ask you, Lord, to be able to to help resource the, these particular needs um, that uh, Kayoka can start a, a small little business. And that's something we always look towards, Lord, look towards helping if we can to help people help themselves, um, to teach people to fish so that they can look after themselves. Um, so, Father, we just pray, Lord, that there is the opportunity for um, Kyoko to have that little small business that she can um, fund herself and fund, you know fund the keeping of the ch of the children. And we do pray, Lord, that um, whatever's needed in way of um, uh, hospital treatment for this little boy's um, clearing of these uh, this nose that that comes forth as well, Lord. That the finances for that come forth as well. So we just hold it, hold them up to you, Lord. But we do thank you, Lord, for so much that we can see as answered prayer here, which glorifies you. So we hold that up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I, I see a, a couple of... Um, prayer requests which are, are, are kind of like i suppose on the well yeah but, well they are on sort of ministry ministry work so i just really want to be able to to bring these couple of things to prayer as well that um, have come to my attention um so father um we know the wife of john victor in england in india has um um been asking for prayer some villages some 80 kilometers away from her in uh in india have been flooded oh. and they are the, um, the john victor and his wife uh desperately want to be able to feed these um these particular people in the villages who have suffered greatly from the flooding so father again we just hold this situation up to you um we hold it up in prayer lord that uh these people can have the food that they need. Um, you know, we just sorry for their situation. And as always, Lord, you know, we whilst we can't understand necessarily why these things happen, you do know, and there will be a reason and a plan behind it, oh Lord. And it might yeah. well be that you are you are going to be glorified because you provide the food that they need. You provide the resources that they need to be able to get themselves through this particular situation. Um, as I say, it's not for us to make judgment on why it's happened, but we just pray, Lord, that uh, uh, for these people to have what they need to get their lives back on track. But we thank you also for the likes of John Victor and his wife who are, are prepared to make that, uh, that those efforts and that take on that work to be able to help and feed these people. Um, so, Lord, we just hold that whole situation up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus yeah. Christ. And... Um, 
just also Nicholas Mega uh, in Kenya. Um, it just says, ask, it just says, um, pray for my family in the old flock we are with we are with due to the high cost of living here in kenya to food and good health and father we do hold first of all we do hold nicholas up to you lord that uh, um the people that he is looking after uh his family the, in any children that he looks after again that um they are resourced lord for uh for their um physical nourishment but we also remember lord that their spiritual nourishment needs to be fed as well um so whether it be physical nourishment and spiritual nourishment uh we just ask lord that they are actually able to be resourced and able to receive them receive them all lord uh we do need to be um say nourished physically um but that spiritual nourishment that spiritual building needs to needs to happen as well so father we just hold nicholas Mega up to you and all people in similar situation to him where they are looking after um, children, looking after widows, um, whichever, whatever work they're doing in their communities that need to be funded, Lord, uh, resourced. Uh, may that res those resources come forward, Lord, so that they can do your work. And again, that your glory shines. So we hold it all up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. You. Thank you, Jesus. So, the kind of thinking of, of ministries, Lord. Again, Martha, how's your ministry going at the moment? We're doing great. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, we just keep praying for it. Please do. Yeah. Mm. Lord, I just thank you, Lord. I thank you, Fa Father, for what you're doing in Let's Get Together Ministry. I thank you, God, that you are preparing us for something more. Thank you, God, for the new, Lord. Um, thank you, Lord, for the heart of these women to be uh, uh, just excited about what you are doing and what you're going to do, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for releasing expectation in our heart, Lord God to see you move as we go out and witness to the lost, Lord. Uh, as we go out and pray for people, we thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders, Lord, for healings to be uh, manifested in the midst of us, for deliverance, Lord, to be manifested in the midst of us, Lord. We thank you that you anointed and the ministry will destroy jokes and remove burden off of us, Lord. We thank you, Father God, that you fill all these ladies with your joy right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, that we are covered by you wherever we go, whatever you're sending us to. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord be sharp in our mouth. Thank you, Lord, that you're preparing us as a deliverance, Lord. Going up with authority, God, for you setting your word. Behold, I give you power to tread upon the serpent and the scorpion and upon all the power of the enemy. And nothing by no me will harm me or any of these women that are connected with the ministry or any other person that is connected with the ministry, God. We come together to lift your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. And Lord, we thank you, God, that as a ministry, Lord, a ministry under an open heaven, God. Hallelujah, that your name will be listed up. And Lord, that all, hallelujah, God, men see and hear the voice of the Lord through this ministry, Lord, God, know and understand that Jesus Christ is Lord over Let's Get Together Ministry. Jesus Christ is Lord over my life and over every person that belongs to Let's Get Together Ministry. And Lord, for that, we give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Martha. Um, John. Yes. Um, how's things going with you, particularly ministry-wise? Your, your street okay. preaching and your online teaching. Yeah, uh, all going reasonably well. Today was in the city centre for a couple of hours again. Um, got talking to um, and prayed for actually a young woman. Um, had pretty hard life, you know. Um, her husband was killed or partner was killed. Um, he was drunk and he was walking down the street and got hit by a car and taken out. Of course, her mm. children were very upset about it and um, she's having nightmares about it. But we linked her up with the church. The pastor was there as well, Pastor Jonathan. So the 
you know, he prayed for his well. So we prayed for a couple of times, me and Mick, and then Pastor, three of us together. So, um, yeah, that was good. You know, it's good to get in the city centre and actually have some good conversations and um, get involved with people. So, yeah, we're hoping we're going to see her in church on Wednesday. That would be good. Um, you know, she's, uh, yeah, like many people you meet, um, their lives are not simple. They've had a hard time. Um, I think she is a Christian, so she says she was, and, and she, she does understand. Uh, but she's just sort of said she's drifted away because of all the difficulties she's had. So, yeah, her name was Amy, so we can pray for her too. But yeah, the online stuff, I think, um, usually teach in a, a number of places during the week. Um, uh, always in, um, where is it? Zimbabwe, usually on Wednesday mornings for an hour or more. Um, and they link with a couple of people in South Africa, so that's quite good. So all at the same time. So that, that's a good one. Um, usually Sunday, someone in Uganda. Uh, but of, often the trouble is, he doesn't always have data or there's a problem where he is with the the network. So that's not all always works out. But yeah, think things are fine. You know, things are fine. Okay. Yeah. So Father, we yeah. thank you. We thank you for John's ministry as well. We thank you for Mark's yeah. ministry. We thank you for John's ministry as well. We thank you, Lord, that he's able to um to get out in the streets of Peterborough and uh, be able to um, to talk with people talk to people about you we do hold this lady amy i think john said her name was up to you that he's been speaking to you we do pray lord that she does attend the church on wednesday and that she um finds people that she can help her to get closer to you we talk many a time about um mentoring people and helping them on their way and i think this is another opportunity where we can see that uh, somebody can get closer to you through the help of uh, the likes of john and um, the various people excuse me various people at his church but we thank you lord for john's ministry may that continue to be a blessing to many people um, yes. and again we said that the the works of you in the harvest field but john is certainly one of those out there doing that doing that work and we thank you for that lord and we thank you for his online work as well the teachings that he does online um to various people across the world um so we thank you for yeah. that lord and again may that be a blessing to many people yes. um sometimes i remember a friend of mine said to me once before that um um the god gives you the shovel but you still got to dig the hole and yeah. things like things like the the internet while some some people may see that as um a, 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 a evil it can actually be used for good and father we thank you lord that the likes of john is able to to use uh, um social media particularly for for the good of spreading your word lord so we do thank you for that lord so we do thank you for his efforts um in getting your getting your the name of your son jesus cross to as many people as possible but Lord, we say so we all have a ministry one way or another. And it is, you know, we are following your lead as we look to be able to um, help build your kingdom here on earth. Um, so, Father, may all our ministry work continue to be fruitful. May it continue to be um, shining your light to so many more people. As, as, as we started off with prayer this, um, this evening um, about being able to bring many more people to come back to know you, Lord, that um, our nations turn back to you to be able to to shine your glory. Um, may we just continue to do that part of our, part of what you're asking us to do. May we be obedient to you. May we yes. be dedicated to you in all that we do. So, Father, yes. we just hold all our ministries up to you for your blessings yes. in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Well, I think we've had we've had a good time on time on online today. Um uh, coming up to nearly an hour. So um we thank you, thank you everybody for joining us. Um, I want to close close with the Lord's Prayer in a minute, but um, just a sort of reminder, I mean, normally I think we would have Philip with us as well. Um, Edwin from Kenya hasn't joined us today, um, but if we can continue to 
um just send the invites out to as many people as possible so when we meet again in a couple of Mondays time um you know more people know about this particular meeting um it doesn't really matter it's not about numbers because obviously uh where two or three are gathered the lord is present and he, he hears our prayers and um so even with just four of us online this morning that uh, this afternoon <laughs> this evening for us um that is good um but it's just nice that um you know we can get the prayers out there and we have more people praying um so we can spread the word spread the word around all, all the better but again we will meet in in uh two mondays time um but in the meantime as we close we'll close with the lord's prayer so our father Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory. forever and ever. ever amen amen okay. okay good night terry good night thanks everybody okay god bless, bless. Bye. 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 god bless